Alright, real quick here, this is going to be how to f how I fix the uh, Air GFX D3D whatever whatever for GTA. So first you're going to go to your programs and features here and delete anything that has to do with this .NET or Visual C. Delete all of these. Then also just while you're in here, just delete just you know anything that you don't recognize what it is because the more you have on here the more chance that something is be causing a conflict after that depending on if you have I have Nvidia so what I did was I deleted physics the HD audio driver and also the graphics driver but leave the GeForce experience on and I realized you know I was in the same situation where Every game was working just fine but Grand Theft Auto, so I know it probably wasn't the graphics driver, but this is part of what I did, so I'm including it. So, after all that's done, you're going to restart, then you're going to get um, CC Cleaner. And what you're going to do with that is just the obvious, you know, clean up all these temporary files that it offers and then go in your registry and run this and I already did mine so not much is going to come up here but you will most likely have just a bunch of stuff so just continue to scan and fix issues keep doing it over and over and over until you basically get a minimal amount of things here the first time you do it it's, there's going to be a whole list of stuff here of just stuff that programs leave behind and all type of nonsense just get rid of all of that oh and I almost forgot speaking of this GTA thing coming up before you, before you do the CC cleaner make sure you install a second clean version of Grand Theft Auto so it doesn't include any of your mods or anything and just rename your other installation so that you can switch it back and forth depending on what you want to do then what you're gonna do is a lot of things need this uh, Visual C and the .NET so what you're gonna do is just Google the Visual Studio and you're gonna download this one so it includes 15, 17 and 19 and I believe it gives you 2008 because I don't remember installing that and obviously here you pick 64 if that's the system you have or x86 if not but before I did that instead of it just saying 2015 through 2019 and the 2008 I just had a whole mess of just all different types of versions and I'm pretty sure this is what was causing my issue just clean it up and get the one that includes all of them another thing that you can try which other people have shown on their videos is turning down your graphics card just a bit so what I did was since mine is a gigabyte card I just opened the program that it came with and that's just this ROS whatever and I pick either si silent or gaming because you don't want to pick I don't know what it defaults to when the program's not installed or open, but for a more stable whatever, I was picking silent. That's another thing I've done, but after I did all this cleaning out, I noticed that I don't have to do that anymore, which is nice because obviously you don't want to lose any performance. If to any Rockstar you game you play, you want as much performance as possible. And yeah, that was all I did, and that is what fixed it I followed so wasted so many hours following all these other videos that people made and just none of that stuff worked and what ended up working was just whatever I've done here I don't know it's been hours now since it's crashed again I've crashed it a couple of times with mods but that was my fault obviously but that other error has not came up since I did all this stuff and this also fixed to where sometimes the air wouldn't come up it would just be it would the screen would just freeze and you'd hear like the 
noise of the air coming up, but it just was frozen. Nothing would show, and it also fixed that. And uh, yeah, that's all I did, and so far it's worked for a day. Who knows, maybe in a week or whatever it'll crash again, but so far so good.